guys now last week I showed you guys how to slide a whole yellowtail and the specific applications for that which is more trans sky where there's a lot of crabs and pickers and there are bigger sharks to take your bait the other applications where you know there's going to be raggies that can take a big bait like this and important features was big enough hooks make sure you use the big like the mustad catfish my favorite big big bait hooks uh, nothing smaller than a tenner and up and they're also nice putting them on an fmj to cast uh, with a dangle lovely lovely hooks and this I put on fish made nylon coated or carbon coated steel 200 pound up to 400 pound for the bigger fish but today what I want to show you is instead of using a whole yellow tail like this we're gonna flap it which makes it how can I put it more accessible or swallowable <laughs> for uh, a, a wider size range of sharks so it's not just for your very big sharks your smaller sharks will be, be able, or your medium sized sharks will be able to get it in its mouth as well and you can get proper hookups. A flat bait works very nice if there's not too many peckers, but some peckers are still okay because it will get that flavor into the water much quicker. But for the crabs, it's a, they, they, they deteriorate your bait in a very short period of time. Uh, obviously take a, a lot longer on the head, which still gives you enough time to get a good pull. But very simple. You're going to decide on the shape you want to flap this, okay? And I would do it nice and streamlined and I'll cut that whole bottom piece. I'm just going to mark it first. Like a diamond shape to keep it nice and uh, streamlined. Now all this, the meat I'm cutting off, you can still use for fillet baits, which Yellowtail makes very nice fillet baits. Getting through the backbone is the most difficult part. This is frozen, but I'm using my bratty mustard knife, which cuts through anything. Cut the skin, the rest is done. Now there's the bait, you can even slide it like this. But what we want to do, get rid of that. What I want to do is take the backbone out, that's a flat bait. So this will be, and you can make it much longer, you can make it even to the tail if you want. Um, you take it out so that those pieces, when defrosted, starts flapping around in the water, releasing small bits of fish or pieces of meat attracting a lot more fish from a from a much bigger area and uh, just the movement in the bait helps and as well as the pickers will come and hit this and get more flavor out for you which just helps getting a bite quicker now the most difficult part through the frozen fish is to get that backbone out You want to get as close to the head as possible. So I'm pretty much there. And then you just work that whole back bone out. And when this defrosts, it makes two nice flaps that's flapping behind this in the water and it's giving it movement. And the pickers and everything hits this from every direction, putting all that meat and smell into the water. It will result in getting a, a bite quicker. Do that with shads with bonnies, with anything bigger, while well, the bonnies are a bit soft but with shad, something with a nice tough skin that will hold it together for, for at least a good, good while and then just hooking it up, very simple guys again like I showed with a whole yellow tail you'll stick it through the lip and that hook I'll still secure right here with a toothpick and a bead and that will keep your hook proud so that you'll, which increases your hookup rate drastically so this is quite an important part of this whole thing and that you'll just slide you can obviously use your machita skirts 
The pink ones has proven to make a difference in bites. If the water is a bit cleaner, even in, in, in more murky water it works. But that's, that's a flat yellow tail head and a very effective bait. Put some out, you'll be surprised.